What is an icon worth? It's a question we often ask when we have an exhibition and some of us dare to offer our work for sale. What is my work worth? How should I be assessed? What is an icon worth? Well, art like any commodity is valued on features like size and quality and reputation. Put bluntly, a bigger picture will be valued higher than a smaller one. More products and time was used to create it. A picture that looks more beautiful will attract a higher price than one that is unattractive. This is tricky to assess because beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Beauty may also be subject to the whims of fashion. The reputation of art will usually rest with the reputation of the artist. Does the artist's work attract buyers? Has the artist won art prizes? Has the artist's work been exhibited in prestigious places? Is the artist dead? What? <laughs> How does the death of an artist affect the value of the art? Well, this is where supply and demand kicks into the value. If the demand for a product is high and the supply is low, the price will tend to be higher. When an artist dies, the supply stops. If the demand remains high, the price will go higher as buyers compete for the product. The fashion of styles and subject will also impact on value. If lots of people like watercolour landscapes, the price of watercolour landscapes will rise. If the art world turns up its nose at Picasso, his art will fall in value. Just watch a few episodes of the Antiques Roadshow and you get some idea of how fashion changes values. That's the nuts and bolts of the matter. But what has this to do with the value of an icon? Surely such holy objects are not subject to such secular considerations. What is an icon worth? Do the same forces that apply to the value of art in general apply to the value of icons? In monetary terms, an icon painted by Rublev is worth considerably more than one painted by Aidan Hart, which in turn is worth considerably more than one painted by me. This is so not just because of the provenance, not to mention the quality of the artistry of the icons. Competence and fame affect the value of art and this includes icons. I'm not sure how to assess this feature of value except by giving an example. I've seen many icons in churches and galleries in Greece and in Turkey and in Russia and I place a much greater value on many icons I have seen that are clouded by candle smoke and yellowing varnish and riddled with borer than on many clean fresh works that make Jesus and the saints look beautifully pious and sweet. Now my judgment is not manipulated by apparent age against new but by the artistry and the spiritual integrity of the artists that show in how Christ or the saints are depicted Contemporary artists certainly attract me for their artistry and integrity, but I am turned off by so much popularist romanticism that I've seen. It is a matter of taste, of course. I guess I have to admit to a degree of snobbishness in this regard. OK, a lot of snobbishness. I've raised the query of secular considerations because those of us in the iconography world tend to be quite precious about the status of our art. Icons are art, certainly, but they are religious art. And people of faith make a special connection with religious art. But the iconography world makes a further claim Icons are not just religious art, they are liturgical art. They are part of the prayer 
of the church. And putting money value on prayer feels a bit sacrilegious. Indeed, some iconographers will give their icons away rather than sell them. It's linked in some way to Jesus driving the traders out of the temple, making a place of prayer a den of thieves. But is there another way to assess the value of icons? Does liturgical art have value apart from what someone is prepared to pay for it? I wish I could find where Aidan Hart makes this point. I'm pretty sure it is Aidan Hart that says this, and I'm expanding and misquoting him, of course, but the lesson I have taken away is this. The value of an icon does not lie in the skill of the artist, the quality of the paint or the timber, not even in the aesthetics of the finished product, those qualities that attract our eyes. The value of the icon does not lie in the painted panel at all. It lies in the qualities of the one who is painted. It lies in Christ or the saint or the Bible story that is depicted. That is where the value of liturgical art abides. Now, of course, if you push that line to its logical conclusion, you would have to admit that the value of an icon that has poor quality in terms of the skill of the artist still has this liturgical value. Yes, I can admit to that. But with this proviso, is this icon painted with the best skills that this icon can offer? Does this work represent a prayer of the artist and reflect his or her devotion to the saint? If the answer is yes, then I do not question the artist's integrity or the icon's value in terms of its liturgical worth. Okay, this is all very well and good, nice religious language. But what price should I put on my icon that I want to sell? Well, without putting an actual figure on what I charge, let me answer the question from my own point of view. My icons, writing icons, it's my hobby. I'm not dependent on my painting for paying the bills. I do not have a reputation as an iconographer. There is not uh, any kind of clamouring for my work and also I am not dead so cutting off supply does not offer or affect the market. So there are a couple of things which go into my calculation. As a retired minister I know that my church denomination sets uh, at a, a particular sum appropriate for part-time pastoral ministry or for taking a Sunday service. I know what my hourly rate is worth in those terms and I apply them similarly to what I do painting an icon. I also paint fairly quickly. The painting of an icon may stretch over some time but because I often film myself painting an icon, I know from the video footage how much time I spend in front of my easel. Of course, there's also the planning, the preparation, and all the thinking time too. From my experience of mounting icon exhibitions for the Uniting Church Icon Schools, I've become aware of what the local market for icons is like. Most icons are bought by iconographers, their friends, their family members, and the most popular icons that sell depict Mary, the mother of Jesus. Think about that. We have a fair idea of the value of icons and how their artistic quality and perhaps more significantly their regard as an aid to prayer determines what an icon is worth.